Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a very unique shotgun microphone from Saramonic. It's called the V-Mic Recorder. And the reason why it's unique, it's not because it's small and it fits on top of your camera and you can connect it to your DSLR or camera setup and record audio. It's unique because it actually has a built-in recorder, audio processing recorder inside of it. So you don't actually have to connect it to your camera to use it. You can sync it up before you start your shoot and of course use it like a standard microphone the way I'm using it now. This is TK and I wanna say thank you very much to Ceremonic for allowing me to check out the V-Mic recorder, but let's not waste any time. Let me show you why this is very unique and how functional this could be for your camera setup. This is the box, uh, V Mic Recorder by Ceremonic. Again, as you can see, it looks pretty much like a standard shotgun microphone, with the exception that, that it's a much bigger base here because if this is where we're housing the recorder, the SD card slot, as well as the main interface with the screen in the back. We have a small mount here at the bottom for shock absorption, as well as a cold true for your camera. So on the back of the box, we have some more information about what you can do with this. The short answer about this, this is a super cardioid polar pickup pattern. So with the most part, it's gonna be very good for subject isolation, switchable low cut filter. So in case you do need that and you get that little hiss sound you can turn that on right away from the lcd in the back uh, lightweight all metal construction and i'll share that with you guys in a second we can record 16-bit 48 hertz wave audio directly into an sd card that you can mount directly onto the recorder three and a half millimeter headphone jack monitoring basically that's how we connect to not only to the camera itself but you can monitor the audio and listen to your audio from the recorder using a standard just three and a half millimeter headphone jack uh, easy to use uh, menu system with an LCD display and then standard side shoe mount, meaning it will sit and basically mount on most of your standard cameras. And this is what we get in the box. Uh, we have the cable connection that will connect directly into our camera. Now they don't include one that works with smartphones that accept audio from an external source. So if you have an extra cable, you could technically use this with a smartphone. But for now, we're going to be testing it out with the DSLR. I'm going to be using the a7 III. Um, here we can remove the cover and we can see the microphone construction. As they mentioned, this is made out of metal. Uh, we do have a door here that we can open up. It houses the two AA batteries that you need to power this, as well as the little SD card. And you can see it's sitting right there. This is basically where you can put the SD card. And then to close it, just open the pin, push it in, close, and it closes very simply. Uh, an output here to the camera. So this will be the direct output audio directly into your camera. And this is for monitoring. So you can plug in your headphones in there and you can monitor and see how the audio is playing. Um, other than that, we have, as I mentioned to you guys before, this is just basically a shock absorption, standard cold shoe mount that will fit on top of your camera, as well as if you want to basically mount it, you just need to make sure you have the right amount here. But it works really good. Cover it up. And other than that, it looks like a standard regular shotgun microphone. Of course, it's a little bit wider, as you can see, because it's housing more stuff. And then, of course, on the back, we have access to the information here. Uh, they do include an instruction manual on how to use this and how to set it up. Short answer, just press and hold the power button. The LCD turns on, we get Ceramonic. And the menu is pretty simple. Uh, you can basically scroll down, go up and down. So you have the volume control for the microphone, that's right there. And then the volume uh, control for the headphones that you're listening to. And then here we have the low cut filter. We can actually turn it on or turn it off. The tick down means you have the low cut filter. Regular is just standard file. And uh, we can go into the menu here. We have access to menu, file, input, uh, record set. So here you can click it, file limit or sample rate. And you can go in there between 24 hertz, 16 bit, 48 hertz, 24 hertz, 24 bit. And of course, 48 hertz at 24 bit. Um, I like to keep it basically as best as I can. So I'm going to just actually, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that's where it is. It's been sitting on the 48 hertz at 24 bit, and that's how I've been using it. Uh, go back here. Uh, we have SD card, of course, access to that. Play mode, you can listen to your content. Uh, system set. And then that's pretty much it here. And then you can go back. Uh, you can initiate and stop the recording by pressing the button here. You can see right there, the little square becomes a circle. It's starting to record. Now we do have uh, kind of an audio indicator here. So you can see in the back, if you're, let's say you're the camera person, you can see basically your audio levels. Uh, and of course, the more you talk, if it's intended to be working from the front. So that's why it's not picking up for us right now. Uh, pressing it again, pauses. And of course we can go through and then select the different files here. So let's say I wanna go back and I wanna be able to, let's just go back here. And we're gonna remove the local filter. And here we're in play mode. So now we're in file six out of seven. I can scroll to the right, seven out of seven. And then of course, go back and listen to all of the different things. And as far as mounting it, as I said before, you just mount it to your camera, connect it, and you're set. Uh, now my A7, of course, does accept audio. So I'm just gonna plug in this cable. It doesn't matter which one you plug into what, because uh, they're both the same cable. And of course here, we just plug it into the camera one and just set it and kind of just forget about it. 
and then you can turn on your camera. Let's go ahead and turn it on. We went ahead and switched over to the a7 III with the setup that I just showed you guys. We're recording audio directly on the camera with the internal audio basically being in stereo. So this is exactly if you'll be using it, let's say in a vlogging style, if you wanna record your own self in your office or just doing YouTube videos. This is a great setup. As long as you have a really good control of the sound around you, you should be able to get amazing audio. But obviously this is not what the intention of this microphone is, of course. We need to be able to test out not only the built-in recorder, but also the versatility of this mic, which is what I did at the beginning of this video, if you noticed. I started the video with the standard GH5 audio that I normally have, and at almost about maybe midpoint, I switched over to the actual microphone using the actual V-Mic recorder as a handheld microphone. And that's the real good part about this. Because it has really good subject isolation as long as you're in front of it, you're gonna get really good audio and you can hold the microphone and step away. So let's go ahead and switch out Outside and I'll give you guys a quick sample of how this sounds outdoors. We're standing outside, there's a lot of wind around us, so obviously the directional microphone will be always a great option to use. Uh, what I want to give you guys is a quick test, basically, if there's sound around you, how this is going to give you guys as far as pickup for sound using it as a vlogging style, meaning it's mounted on my camera and it's pointing to me and the audio is going to get recorded directly into the camera. The V-Mic recorder is definitely very versatile. It offers us different environments and of course, because it records audio on its own, it becomes really good when it's disconnected. Uh, you can mount it on a boom mic stand or you can use it as a handheld microphone or even just use it as a standard shotgun microphone. And if you don't have any audio input onto your camera, you don't even have to worry about it because it has a built-in recorder. So you can either use it as its own recorder, use it as a pass-through, listen to the audio on it, or of course monitor it from your camera if your system allows you to do it, the a7 III does. And of course it works great. At the beginning of the video, I used it as a handheld microphone. And of course, with the samples that I showed you guys, indoors sounds great when you're using it as a pass-through. And when you go outdoors and use it as a handheld, it looks even better because you can step away from the camera and you still have really good audio. Just make sure, of course, sync up the audio at the beginning. Uh, I want to say thank you very much to Sarah Monik for allowing me to check out the V-Mic recorder. And I'll give you guys, of course, a link in the description below to be able to pick one up for yourself very versatile, very professional piece of gear that you could use with your camera. And if you have the right cable, you can even use it with your smartphone as long as you have a, a setup to be able to mount it, of course. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.